A woman's primary sex organs are two ovaries, each about the size and shape of a walnut, but longer and flatter. Here the egg cells originate. Each ovary may contain millions of potential eggs, but the eggs lie dormant until puberty. At this time, cells in the hypothalamus of a woman's brain produce a hormone, which is carried by the bloodstream to her pituitary gland. In response, the pituitary gland increases its secretion of two hormones called FSH and LH. FSH stimulates the ovaries to put out hormones of their own. Estrogens, and to a much lesser extent progesterones, cause the physical changes of puberty. Under this influence, a girl's adult female sexual characteristics gradually emerge. Her breasts grow, she grows pubic hair and hair in her armpits. Then, as she becomes a woman, her first menstrual cycle begins. Now her body is ready to take part in producing a baby. Under the influence of FSH and LH from the pituitary, one of the immature egg cells, already present in her ovaries, begins to grow within a sac of cells called the follicle. The follicle produces an increasing amount of estrogen, which begins to prepare the uterus to receive the egg, which at this stage is called an oocyte. As the oocyte and follicle grow, they move toward the outer surface of the ovary. Now the pituitary produces a surge of LH, which triggers the release of the oocyte from the follicle. The entire process, called ovulation, will occur in cycles once each month. The oocyte passes into one of two fallopian or uterine tubes. Each leads to the uterus or womb. Under the influence of LH, the follicle changes into a yellow body called the corpus luteum, which secretes increasing amounts of the hormone progesterone into the bloodstream. That progesterone completes the job of preparing the uterine lining, and its increase causes the pituitary to send out less FSH.